So this is the Ram rig, a massive 3500 Ram with the 22 foot caravan in tow. This 10 ton setup rolling down the road or the beach just is enormous. We didn't miss any details on this truck guys, let's get into it. Already done a stage one video on this truck it didn't have the roof rack or the full canopy set up but now that it's a full-time tourer let's start with the front end and give you a full walk around starting with the front end you've got the off-road creative bar quite iconic on most of our builds that's what we're opting for so that front animal protection is um is what is required there it's got the 15,000 pound carbon winch on the front and as you can see it's not just white it's actually got the satin ppf over the paintwork so Going with the satin PPF gives you the custom touch of both colour changing the vehicle as well as the ultimate protection. So stone chip scratches down the side, this PPF got self-healing properties. You can simply heat it up in the sunlight, all your little wash marks are gone. As you can see, it's got the three laser lamps on the front there as well. Uh, steady light bar inside. And with the Big Dog Builds roof rack up on top, it's got the laser lamp up on top there. Steady side lights. It's got the GME UHF on the folding bracket and the beauty of the big dog rack with the T uh, slot channels. You can simply add things like max tracks or solar panels or whatever sort of combination you like. So the most important part is the superior ride performance. For this one, that's a combination of suspension, wheel and tire combination, as well as the towing setup in the rear end. So front end here, as you can see, the Method 305 NVs in the matte black with the black lip bolts, really ties that in nicely. It's got the Yokohama Geo Lander. So these are 35, 12 and a half, 18. Really good load rating, getting some great feedback from these tyres at the moment. And the most popular um, option that we go for on the 3500 is the 3.25 Carly pin top kit. So the suspension kit is the best in the world. Um, the torsion sway bar from Carly. It's also got the high mount, low mount steering stabilizers under there as well, as well as the radius arms with the limit straps. We have also chopped off the front factory shock mount and we've welded on the dominator mount from Carly as well. The strength of this new mount is going to absorb all of that extra pressure from the big 2.5 Carly pin top shock itself and it's going to make sure that this truck is um, ready for the full lap of Australia and, um, and no dramas while, while doing it safely with the family. Sticking to the satin white theme, we also did the satin clear coat over the door handles. It's had the full chrome delete, the black badge option and that's flowed all the way across to the um, canopy as well. So textured black base canopy surrounds. The color-coded doors with the PPF on top is going to keep this thing nice and scratch resistant. Um, having the PPF, like I said, is the best protection for these canopies. But Off-Road Creative have nailed it once again. This is the Tinny Tourer sort of setup. It's got the outboard motor in the other side there. The neatest option, I, I, I say it to everyone, is this little drawer here. You've got your motor arm from the motor on the other side, which will, will swing around there. But the use of space that Brad and the team have done at Off-Road Creative is just next level. So you got that there. You got your twin induction cooker on your slide out table. The amount of room and usable, perfect height, IM62. Um, the rear end setup on this truck has got the leaf spring upgrade done as well, as well as the airbag leaf helpers. So if you do have the van on the back, the canopy loaded, and you wanted to lower this down a little bit, simply adjust your air pressure and you're gonna get a couple inches out of that as well. So the quality from the team here at Off-Road Creative, the power on board. Once you ditch the caravan and you did wanna head away up the beach for a, for a weekend away, um, through, throw a few swags on the roof and you've got all the power, all the water, all the 240 requirements and 12 volt requirements. You got LED lighting with your orange and white. You got your Bushman fridge on this side second fridge on the other side, and these toolboxes for all your dirty gear, recovery gear. Yeah, it's just an ultimate setup all round. So the rear end of this setup is quite impressive. Um, we've gone for the full trailer tow setup. So this is your gray Anderson plug, 50 amp rated, your red Anderson plug direct to battery, as well as your um, safety Dave was a cable there. So you've got your trailer at the rear of the caravan. Um, you've also got water outlet, two different water outlets from Off-Road Creative, a little pump on that one there. You've got your trundle drawer there and the Gen Y hitch. So a good hitch combo on the back, lockable pins there so it can't get pinched. 
um, massive DO45 setup on this van itself. And um, you've also got your manual inflation valves for your airbag set up for um, emergency use. If the air compressor decided not to work and you did need to manually adjust those airbags, you've got those two tabs there as well. So jerry can holder on the back of this setup. The camera has been relocated to the back of the canopy. So awesome option there. Little steady work lights that are controlled from in the back. And also again, the satin PPF over the little white trundle drawer that's color coded as well. So we've, this one's got two spare wheels being the 35 inch tire. We've got one spare on the back as well as one spare underneath. So carrying that um, as well as your in and out power on the back of these canopy setups. You can use 240 volt outlet. You've also got your 240 volt inlet as well to charge up that battery storage. So solar on the roof when the boat's not up there, you've got your DC DC charger as well. And then you've got your shore power. If you did pull up for a caravan park or somewhere with the um, 240 outlet, you can simply plug into your um, canopy and keep everything topped up. So coming around to the driver's side of this canopy setup, like I said, it's the tinny topper setup from Off-Road Creative. We've got the outboard motor in there, which slides out on the LMAC drop-down slide, which is really, really neat use of space. We've got the Max tracks in behind there for now until we throw them up on the roof rack. Another good uh, spot for your storage as well as your draw fridge there as well so really really usable canopy setup this one here with your drop down sides it's also got your arv twin compressor in the back there we've then tapped in the airbag man pressure control so you've got in cab on off of the compressor as well as you can do your airbags both left and right up and down so while you're towing uh, up the beach conditions like this the different sort of environments that you're in having the switchability from inside the cab your up-down controls for these airbags just makes life nice and easy. Otherwise, we just do the standard airbag setup at the rear there with your two Schrader valves. So, exhaust tip on this one's been changed to a 318 stainless setup. Um, because of the mud flap the, where the factory exhaust sits, we do a little mod there after it comes back from Off-Road Creative. And before it went down to them as well, we've done the leaf spring reset. It's also got the larger fuel tank underneath as well, which is a really important step to do before the canopy goes on. These things look amazing. Got the Almac boat loader up on top. Simply use that one from the Anderson plug on the back there. That one, the tinny flows all the way over the roof rack. Nothing hits up there as well. There's still room for your up down um, aerials for your UHF cell fire if you're going for it. And yeah, this thing just, I think it's almost the perfect tour. The Ram 3500, we can get up to 5.8 tonne GVM. So having the GCM of this setups around that 10 tonne mark, I reckon it's pushing every part of that when there's water on the van as well. And doing it on the platform, this is the class leading platform for these big heavy touring setups. So really good rear axle load rating on the Ram compared to the Chevy and the Fords. And this is why a rig like this is one of the ideal setups to travel Australia in. Got Ollie here, the owner of Ram Rig, mate. How are you finding the truck so far? I came in for a stage one. We then went and got the canopy done, then the satin PPF, the roof rack to finish it off, mate. What's it like? Oh, it's amazing. It really is. Um, so, super impressed with it. Uh, toes like a dream. Uh, big four ton caravan on the back. Wouldn't even feel it. Didn't even feel it. First time on the beach, towing as well, and uh, yeah, just super impressed with it. As a suspension ride, having the adjustability in the airbags is pretty good as well. Yeah, it's really good. So, yeah, yeah. Um, controls on the, on the dash there and um, up and down on tap. So, pretty easy to use. Really switch good. pro and lighting and I hear you have, um, we've, we've got Harry that can teach you all of the stuff oh, while you're out on the road this next year. Oh, he knows more about than I do at the moment, so, yeah. <laughs> so, that's awesome, mate. Um, look forward to seeing a lot of photos around Australia and, um, yeah, getting into it. Yeah, so, getting, getting ready to go mid-Jan, so. Appreciate it. Really enjoy enjoy the trip, mate. Stay safe. Thank you. There you go, guys. This massive 10 ton setup. If you see the family on the road, give them a toot. If you enjoy videos like this, guys, make sure you subscribe, like, and uh, hit that bell notification for more Big Dog Builds content. <laughs>